Good afternoon or morning. This is going to be a quick video about some Christmas related facts or legends. Jingle Bells was the first song played in space, at least by Americans. On the Gemini 6 mission, which took place in 1965, astronauts Walter M. Shera Jr. and Thomas P. Stafford snuck a harmonica and some bells onto their spacecraft. During their re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, on December 16th, they played a prank on ground control by describing a UFO with one command module and eight smaller command modules in front. They described the pilot with a main command module as wearing a red suit. Then, the astronauts began to play jingle bells with a harmonica and string of bells. Their instruments are now housed at the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum. There's a YouTube video with the prank and song which will be listed in the description. Candy canes were created to keep choir boys quiet. The invention of the candy cane can be traced back to 17th century Germany, where legend says a choir master at the Cologne Cathedral in Germany gave his choir boys sugar sticks to help keep them quiet during Christmas time ceremony. It is rumored that he bent the ends to honor the occasion by making them resemble a shepherd's staff, but others believe that the ends were bent later to help them hang onto Christmas trees. I'm sure there's a joke here about giving candy canes to choir boys to keep them quiet, but I'm not going to go there. The NORAD Santa Tracker began with a wrong number call. Every Christmas Eve, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, also called NORAD, adjusts its satellites to track Santa on his journey around the world. It is believed that this tradition started on November 30th, 1955, when a child called the wrong number when he was trying to reach a Santa hotline that was listed in a Sears advertisement. The child ended up calling Colonel Harry Shoup, who is a crew commander on duty at the Continental Air Defense Command, also known as CONAD. Shoup answered the phone and gave the child an update on Santa's location. Ever since, it has become a tradition, and in 1958, it was taken over by the North American Air Defense Command, NORAD. This tradition is still alive, and NORAD utilizes volunteers to work the program. Each volunteer handles about 40 phone calls per hour and the team answers a total of over 100,000 calls and more than 12,000 emails from more than 200 countries and territories. NORAD currently operates a Santa Tracker website, and you can go on there right now to watch the countdown. The website will be listed down below in the description. The Three Wise Men Were Zoroastrian The Three Wise Men described in the popular Christmas story of Baby Jesus in the Manger were actually Zoroastrian wise men or priests. At least that is what some scholars believe. They are described as having come from the East, which would be Persia, or today's Iran. Zoroastrianism originated around the 6th century BC. Silent Night is the most recorded Christmas song. Silent Night has supposedly been recorded over 137,000 times and was first performed on Christmas Eve 1818 at St. Nicholas Parish Church in the Austrian Empire, which is now called Austria. Father Joseph Moore had written the poem in 1816. On Christmas Eve 1818, with the church's organ having been damaged due to flooding, Moore brought the words to Franz Xavier Gruber. Xavier, Franz Xavier Gruber and asked them to compose a melody and guitar accompaniment. Since then, it has been recorded by artists such as Simon and Garfunkel in 1966, Boys to Men in 1993, Mariah Carey in 1994, and many other popular groups. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you are able to learn something. If not, leave a comment explaining what facts you already know and how you learned them. Thanks.